Wow, what did I just watch? I'll tell you what, a Ravens team who fought their butt off to the very last minute. I mean, we were on the verge of witnessing the mighty Bengals fall to the Lamarless Ravens, being led by Tyler Huntley. Yeah, the Bengals were struggling so hard throughout that game that Tyler freaking Huntley almost took down the defending AFC champs. Why was Huntley in that position to begin with, you might be asking? Well, I think that's what we're all wondering. In fact, that's exactly what I'm here to talk about. Where was Lamar Jackson when the Ravens needed him most? Now, the straightforward answer is that Lamar was sitting on his couch watching the game from home while his team played their hearts out. But that's not fair to say because Lamar did have reasons for choosing to sit this game out. Whether you agree with his decision or not, his reasons were valid. Now, if we want to know why Lamar was missing from a playoff game, then we have to go all the way back to last offseason where Lamar and the team were coming off a disappointing year to put it generously, with the team finishing the year off on a strong six-game losing streak. And I think that it's safe to say Lamar Jackson is too good to lose six straight games. And I don't care how much I'm glazing him with that comment, because it's true. Nah, see, the Ravens were on a terrible streak, because in week 14 of last season, Lamar went down with a grade 2 pedal ankle sprain versus the Browns, taking him out for the rest of the year. And at that point, the only thing the Ravens needed for a playoff break was maybe two wins in the last four weeks, but that just wasn't how things played out for Baltimore, which meant that they were going to go home early that year. And the worst part about it is the fact that Lamar was having one of his worst passing seasons since the MVP year, which only fed into the mentality that Lamar is nothing but an explosive running back who's listed at the wrong position. I hate people who say stupid shit like that. So because Lamar was coming off the biggest injury in his career up to that point and his worst statistical season since his rookie year, the Ravens front office thought it'd be best for the organization if they played it safe when it came to Lamar's contract negotiations. And what I mean by safe is that the team didn't want to potentially overpay a QB who'd spend more time recovering than playing actual football. So they lowballed him. And that, my friends, is where all the drama really kicked off for the Ravens. See, I believe that this so-called safe move was very cowardly on the team's part. Now, you're probably asking, what was this tremendously stupid offer that I'm referring to? Well, sources told ESPN that the deal was a five-year extension over $250 million. Now, here's the important part. With $133 million being guaranteed at signing. Yeah, yeah, that's a shit ton of money more than I'll ever get close to seeing. But for an MVP, you gotta break the bank. I mean, some people are just too talented that they gotta be treated differently. Now, the problem with the contract was never the total amount of money, but rather how much money he was getting guaranteed at signing. And in the deal we just talked about, Lamar was offered more guaranteed money at signing than both Kyler and Russell Wilson. Now, those guys had just recently gotten their deals done, but Lamar didn't want Kyler Murray money. No offense, but Lamar's accomplished a lot more than Kyler has at this point. So say what you will about that. Now, Jackson had his eyes on a different type of deal. He wanted that Deshaun Watson contract. I'm talking 230 M's guaranteed off the rip. The Ravens said, screw that. The Deshaun Watson deal was an anomaly and you won't ever make that kind of bread. That's definitely what they told Lamar. Mm -hmm. Now, because the negotiations fell through, Lamar just went head first into the season and said, I need a bet on myself. And that brings us to current day, where we're at the end of the season and the relationship between Jackson and the organization is worse than before. And I think it's time for me to tell you about one of the reasons Lamar didn't play versus the Bengals. And that's because the superstar suffered a grade two knee PCL sprain in week 13 versus the Broncos. Sound like deja vu? Mm Mm-hmm. You know? No, this injury was massive for Lamar because his entire game is dependent on the guy's mobility, whereas a pocket passer would have been able to probably play through this type of injury, especially if the pocket passer was needed for a playoff win or go home type of game, you feel me? And this is where things get real spicy because I wholeheartedly believe that if Lamar was given the type of money that he asked for all those months ago, then the Ravens would have gone into the wildcard game with Lamar under center 
rather than Tyler Hundley or Anthony Brown. But instead, Jackson decided to go with what was best for him and not the team. So he made the business decision of sitting out. And that is why Lamar Jackson wasn't anywhere to be found when the Ravens needed him most. Truly tragic. Hell, Lamar probably booked a one-way plane ticket to good old Thailand so he could vacation with Cliff Kingsbury and they could plot where they might want to team up. Now, I don't blame Lamar for going with the business decision because the guy has played his entire NFL career on his rookie deal. Now, like he hasn't even been he hasn't even been franchise tagged yet. So if he did play against the Bengals, then the only thing he would be doing is giving himself a chance of re-aggravating the non-fully healed knee and potentially end up with a career-ending injury before he gets his first big payday, which he absolutely deserves. How many other guys could wake up in the morning and say they won the MVP in their first full season? Because let's be real, he spent half his rookie year on the bench as the Ravens went into that year with full intent of starting Mr. Joe Flacco. Well, that video took a lot out of me. I mean, originally I had a video about Lamar where I talked about how he was going to prove everybody wrong in the playoffs just to find out that he wasn't going to play versus the Bengals. So I had to scrap that video. But the thumbnail was too good not to use. So I found a purpose for it. All right, enough rambling. Look, if you like the video, then how about just subscribing to get uh, to get 500 subs? We're on the road to 500. All right. Thank you. I'm out. Deuces.